Okay, now to create his eyeball, we're actually going to use a new command, which we're going to start off using a cylinder. We'll use the affinity command, and then the new command we're going to use is addition. The values for that, um, they're kind of arbitrary, um, but there's just uh, what you have to make sure you do is your Fy and Fz have to be the same value. Now for ours, we choose one. So after you have that, um, select OK, and then go ahead and use translation and move that into um, his face. Position it um, using your picture as a reference. And you can go ahead and use the go into properties, graphics, and change the color um, to make sure it's a white. Use the symmetry command, select, click on the XZ plane, and select your, your eyeball, and it'll copy right over. Make sure also you color it white and name it you know, left eye or right eye. Okay. Now for his pupils, we did the same thing like we did the shoot. We copied the eye, pasted it, and like before, we'll rename it as we'll name his, rename his pupils so we know what we're copying, and, and color it black. You get this weird kind of streaky black thing on his face. It kind of looks kind of weird. So go ahead, double click on the eye, go ahead and select everything, use the affinity command, and use addition. And this time we'll tire tone it down to about point use modifying F Y and F Z. Modify down to about point one. You may have to, may have to adjust it depending, it may be too small or too big depending on how big you chose your original eyeball size. And like before, use the uh, symmetry command to put a similar uh, pupil on the opposite side. Making sure that you also unhide the, the original so that it, they both show up. Next, we're going to create his nose. To do this, we'll go ahead and we'll spawn a sphere. And then we'll use surface selection to select the front side of the sphere and translate it out where it stretches out a little bit. And then after that, we'll select the affinity command to shrink it down to the appropriate size. Once we have it shrunken down, we'll go ahead and select the entire object and translate it so it's placed on his face. Um, and you just, once again, reference the picture to make sure it's not too high or too low and make sure it's centered on his face. Be sure also once you've done that to rename it nose and color it the same color as his face. We don't want to make him a clown now. For his mouth, go ahead and spawn yet another cylinder. Go ahead and let's use the affinity command and only shrink down, shrink it, squish down at least the vertical component and keep the horizontal roughly the same. Go ahead and, and then go ahead and manipulate the edges and surfaces if you need to to kind of make a sim something similar to his smile. You can use something, a basic smile, you can do his trademark smirk. Heck, you can make it even a frowny face. For us, we'll make something very close to his trademark smirk. Go ahead and manipulate it so that you get something similar, color it black, and then insert it into his face. All right. Lastly, we need to put some extra detail on his undershirt and his pants so that these little waves. For his undershirt, select the face cutting tool so that it looks like a sheet with a bunch of lines on it. Select his, uh, select one of his sleeves, preferably the one that you didn't mirror, and then just use the default setting of five. This will create a bunch of plans for us to get some extra detail on. Go ahead and manipulate by double clicking on that sleeve. Use, use surfaces, surface selection, and kind of make some similar waves on the outside. So you, you get a very, something that looks a lot like the, the wavy, uh, material that uh, that comprises uh, his undershirt. Similarly for his pants, use the same tool, use the, the, the default setting. Go ahead and hit the check mark to say okay. Use this time you, you want you want to use points, you want to use, use edge detect edge manipulation or edge uh, selection. And go ahead and use maybe uh, right around Three, either like you know three fifths or right around a third of where from the bottom of his uh, pant leg, 
and kind of move it up and out a little bit. Get the little trademark ridge on this panel line. Additionally, you may want to do the same thing on the inner, on his on his inner thigh to make it to make the inside of his pants a little bit more defined. And there you have it. You have your very own model of Mac. If you want to make a quick render of it, click the little, little photo icon at the bottom. Click the make uh, render it, and click the little picture. It'll render out the image, and you'll have your very own model of Mac. Thanks for joining us for this uh, you know, modeling of Mac, and hopefully this has given you some better insight on how to use Imagine Shape. Uh, hope you've enjoyed. Yep, yeah, man. And hopefully this gives you an idea of how to use this for future ideas. So if you ever feel creative, feel free to use Imagine Shape, create whatever the heck you want, and enjoy. Thanks for watching.